Welcome to the graduation ceremony to honor the class of 2020. Welcome to the graduation ceremony to honor the class of 2020. While this evening does not look exactly the way each of us envisioned, we are extremely thankful to be able to gather, even with limited numbers, to celebrate these students who have worked so hard to reach this milestone. We appreciate your understanding and our need to both social distance and limit the number of people on each side of our stadium to help ensure the health and safety of each family. We are so proud of our students and their accomplishments and want them to enjoy this time to commemorate their hard work and effort. At this time, I would like to introduce our Class of 2020 Salutatorian. Sarah Young is the daughter of Jason and Christy Young. While she has been a student at Gordon Lee, she has been a member of many clubs and organizations. She was a member of the National Honor Society, Student Council, HOSA, and in Key Club all four years of high school. In August, Sarah plans to attend the University of Georgia. Please welcome the Class of 2020 Salutatorian, Ms. Sarah Morgan Young. Thank you, Coach Langston. Hi, my name is Sarah Young, and it is an honor to be standing before you all as Gordon Lee High School Salutatorian. First off, welcome fellow graduates and family, faculty, school board, and guests. I would like to thank you all for being in attendance this evening. You have greatly impacted the graduating class. And a special thank you to all of those involved in making this ceremony happen during such uncertain times. My fellow students, we only arrived here four short years ago, and now it's already time to leave. How did it all go so fast? It seems like only yesterday that we were freshmen. We were so small and eager. The varsity football players looked like 28-year-old old men. And we all came together to decorate our first homecoming float. Now we are the upperclassmen, the seniors who stand here ready to graduate and move forward in the world. Yet at this formative moment, we can't help looking back. How do we measure the time we've spent in high school? In the beginning, we measured it in class periods, counting down the days to eventual freedom. As the days and weeks passed, we measured it in semesters and later in years as we moved from being those clueless freshmen to becoming sophisticated sophomores who thought they all had it figured out. As sophomores, we were no longer looking clueless to all the upperclassmen. By the time we reached our junior year, we were in our new high school and confident that we were prepared to take over for the graduating seniors and we couldn't wait to rule the school. When I first sat down to write this speech, I told myself I was not going to mention the pandemic. It has taken so much from our class and I didn't want to give it the satisfaction of taking over an ordinary high school speech. But then I realized this is not an ordinary graduation year and we are not an ordinary graduating class. Although the class of 2020 drew the short end of the stick on so many of our senior experiences, such as our prom, senior trip, class day, awards day, and senior prank, what we have to look forward to in our near future outweighs all of these losses. Some of us will go to college or trade schools. Some will go straight into the workforce and the military. And now here we stand. Our rule is over and it's up to the next class to step into our shoes and take over. I know that as I look out at all of you, I will measure my time here in a much different way. I will measure it in all the friendships I've enjoyed these last four years. Some were pretty casual and others were much closer, but I'll remember each one fondly as I'm sure you all will too. And when many of our high school memories begin to fade, that's how we'll ultimately measure the time we've spent here. 
not in periods or semesters or years, but in the friendships that we made and the times we shared together. Congratulations to my fellow graduates of the class of 2020. Wherever we go and whatever we do, may we always be friends when we meet again. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Gracie O'Neill is the daughter of Terry and Janet O'Neill. While at Gordon Lee, she played basketball and volleyball. She also ran track and cross country. Gracie is an eight-time individual state champion and was also a member of the 2019 track state championship team. She was the 2019 homecoming queen. Gracie was elected president of the senior class and president of the student council. She was also involved in the National Honor Society, Key Club, and FCA. Gracie will be attending the University of Georgia in the fall, where she will, be, where she will major in biology, and she will run track and cross country for the Bulldogs. Our class of 2020 valedictorian, Ms. Gracie Lee O'Neill. Good evening. I'm so thankful to be here in person with each and every one of you. I want to thank our wonderful faculty and staff, along with the school board and Ms. Day, for making this event possible and for having such a great impact on my life. Gordon Lee has prepared me so well for my life beyond high school, and I'm so thankful for this wonderful place. And I also want to thank my overwhelmingly supportive family. Um, they have been with me every step of the way, and I'm so sad that they all couldn't be here tonight. But I know that I wouldn't be here without them. And to my fellow classmates, I'm so glad to see all of you here. I'm ecstatic that we made it to this night, and I'm so proud of each and every one of you. 2020 truly has been a year to remember. We have experienced so many unforeseeable circumstances that this year feels like one long nightmare. 2020 brought murder hornets onto the scene, along with multitudes of locusts swarming Africa and Australia being caught on fire, and then Kobe died. And we all thought, what else could go wrong? But oh, were we mistaken because there happened to be a virus that spread across the entire world and caused a pandemic and shut the entire world down. And we were all put on lockdown and had to take our classes from home online. And then even a dust storm swept across the US and there were protests in every major US city. I've always wondered what it was like to live through the Spanish flu, civil war, civil rights movement, Great Depression, and the Dust Bowl, but I never intended to experience them all at one time. It's only July, and 2020 has already been a roller coaster of emotion. With all the events occurring in the world, along with the loss of our senior year, I felt anger, sadness, and disappointment, among many other emotions. It still hurts to think that we had our last day of high school without even realizing it was our laugh or last. All I wanted was for my life to go back to normal, but I now realize that the normal I was wishing for is unattainable. Our class was born in the wake of 9-11, which was a tragic time for our country, and this event sparked changes that led to a new normal being applied to everyday life, and our country was forever changed from that day forward, and the same is true now. We're currently living through some of the most difficult times of this generation, and we're approaching another new normal. Life as we know it has been changed forever. The coronavirus pandemic has taken away so much from each and every person here, and it's so hard not to hold on to that anger that we feel toward COVID-19. But what if we decided to shift our perspective on the situation? What if we decided to be thankful for the coronavirus instead of cursing it? What if we decided to be thankful for the growth that we experienced during this time? 
What if we decided to be thankful for the knowledge that it helped us attain? And what if we decided to determine our priorities and maybe adjust them? If we choose to combat our negative emotions with thankfulness and joyfulness, our hearts will greatly reap the benefits. Proverbs 17:22 says, A joyful heart is a good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Therefore, the best way to cope with these events is through joy and gratitude. As foreign as it seems, I am thankful for this pandemic. I'm thankful for it because it allowed my family to have extra time together, and we made lasting memories that would not have been possible without these circumstances. We were all blessed with time to be still and reflect on our lives without the distraction of busy, everyday life. I'm thankful for the coronavirus because it changed my perspective on life. I learned that the world does not revolve around athletics, competition, or accomplishments. This hit me the hardest because running is my passion and I got injured the very week that senior year ended. This injury prevented me from running for 10 weeks, and anyone that knows me understands how long those 10 weeks felt. But during that time, God made me aware of my priorities and how I should adjust them. He showed me that we are not defined by our accomplishments, our athletic careers, our social status, or even our appearances. Our worth is not found in these trivial things, and they are not where our purpose lies. We should be defined by the love that we show others. Especially right now, the world desperately needs love. Our world is brimming with hatred and spite, but these emotions will only lead to more turmoil and unrest. The only thing that combat that negative energy is love. Simple, unconditional love. The type of love that Jesus Christ portrayed when he gave his life on a cross for our sins. And if you have never experienced that love of Jesus, I would personally like to introduce you to him because he absolutely changed my life. In one of my favorite authors, Bob Goff, he said, we should love everybody always, not just some people sometimes. I'll say it again, we should love everybody always, not just some people sometimes. Everyone is truly equally deserving of love, and if the world took on this mindset, it would be a much better place to live in. You never know what people around you are going through, and one simple act of kindness could change a person's life. There's a song that is very fitting for everything we are experiencing, and I just feel like the words are so powerful. Instead of gracing your ears with my terrible singing, I will read you the words. In a time full of war, be peace. In a time full of doubt, just believe. There's not that much difference between you and me. In a time full of war, be peace. In a world full of hate, be a light. When you do somebody wrong, make it right. Don't hide in the dark, you were born to shine. In a world full of hate, be a light. In a place that needs change, make a difference. In a time full of noise, just listen. Because life is just a breeze, you better live it. In a place that needs change, make a difference. In a world full of hate, be a lot. When you do somebody wrong, make it right. Don't hide in the dark, you are born to shine. In a world full of hate, be a lot. And this is my prayer for the class of 2020 that we all will be a lot. Thank you. Thank you, Gracie. At this time, I would like for Chickamauga City School Board Chairman, Mr. D.A. Jewell, and Superintendent, Ms. Melody Day, to come forward for the awarding of diplomas. We are very excited that the vast majority of our graduates could be with us this evening and wish the very best to those who could not be in attendance. We want to send special thoughts to two of our graduates, David Mullins and Garrett Tumblin, 
who enlisted and have already left to serve our country in the military. We appreciate these young men and their service. We We will call each name to recognize every member of this graduating class. Gracie Lee O'Neill. Sarah Morgan Young. India Maya Rosa Johnson McCauley. Anna Elizabeth Logan. <laughs> Megan Denise Wilkins. Macy Elizabeth Pearson. Ian Harrison Goodwin. Connor Avery Salmon. Robert Clark Napier. Kevin Lee Swaggerty. <laughs> Mackenzie Elise Bailey. Savannah McKenzie Barkham. <laughs> Nicholas Andrew Taylor Barnes. Weston Wallen Beagles. Paris Braden Sky Bennett. Mary Beth Riley Blaylock. Kirby Leanne Bradley. Zachary Shane Breeden.
Bailey Allen Brown. Hunter Blaine Burnett. Joshua Ryan Carroll. Colby Jackson Castile. Malia Page Castile. Sean Edward Chapman. Grant Lee Childs. Kaylee Grace Clare. Madeline Jade Clark. <laughs> Levi Dawson Cole. Mallory Dawn Collier. Robert Logan Conway. Austin Daniel Crowley. Cameron Elizabeth Davis. James Overton Day. Jacob Gordon Deck. Catherine Michaela Dupree. Elizabeth Converse Edwards. <laughs> Victoria Lee Ellis. Sadie Rose Gasaway. <laughs> Gavin Reed Graham.
Vernon Eric Greason. Shannon Lee Hall. Jack Barry Harmon. Hunter Cabin Hartman. Taylor Nicole Hunley. Abigail McKenna Johnson. Riley Sky Johnson. <laughs> Mallory Ashlyn Jones. Caleb Robert Kosh. <laughs> Hunter Seth Lada. Jeffrey Cole Lewis. <laughs> William Corey Lewis. Madison Riley Mayberry. <laughs> Alexandria Reese Maynard. Gavin Anthony McAllister. <laughs> Taylor Nicole McAllister. Colton James McConaughey. <laughs> Emily Jewel McDonald. Amanda K. Mosier.
Richard Anakin Motley. David Robert Mullins. Gregory Walker Mois. Timothy James Nix. Samuel Briggs Norton. Sky Pappendorp. Cassie Lynn Parker. Sandra Mackenzie Regal. <laughs> Ethan Reed Rice. Benjamin Klein Richardson. Kara Abigail Roper. Clint Jacob Royal. Caden Lake Sane. Bailey Ashlyn Schrader. <laughs> Eve Marie Scott. Natalie Barry Shale. Lillian E. Grace Butler Simcox. William Garrett Sizemore. <laughs> Bailey Madison Smith.
Kaya Tori Smith. Kenna Ann Stafford. Caitlin Rose Stevens. Bradley Michael Stoker. Alexander Harrison Stone. Jason Daniel Swaggerty. Hunter Wayne Taylor. Trevor Bradley Templeton. Alexis Lee Tennant. <laughs> Sally Margaret Thomason. Reagan Laura Thompson. Camden McCall Tinsley. Tucker Alec Trivet. Garrett Jackson Tumblin. Asia Nicole Underwood. Kylie Elizabeth Walker. <laughs> Megan Grace Wardlaw. Jade Nicole Whitaker. Logan William Willette.
Casey Brooke Wilson. Jacob Bryce Wright. Jordan Page Yancey. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 2020. Graduates, you may turn your tass tassels and throw your caps. Congratulations once again to our graduates from the class of 2020. We wish you the best in the next chapter of your lives. We know that you have already overcome great challenge and adversity and have become stronger people for it. We have no doubts that you will be successful in your endeavors. Remember that Gordon Lee will always be your home and you are always welcome. At this time, our graduates will exit, and we ask that guests remain in your seats until they have cleared the field. We will then dismiss by sections to remain in compliance with our guidelines and minimize groups at the exits. Please rise for the recessional of our faculty and graduates. <laughs> 